start again. So we had an easy time on the last one. This time we're going to be doing Rival Expedition. I don't... Again, I don't really remember what this encounter is. So I'm just going to play the Hunter Strength deck because it's kind of solid. This hand... Sounds okay. It's a bit short on land. Yeah, this is much better. It's got three land, three mana creature to play, three mana staff, and nature's law, which is uh, a really good ramp card. The light of forest from your library, and put it onto the battlefield, and shuffle your library. We have a late game creature, seven mana. Uh, if we get that far, if we need it. Looks like he's going to play Harder Free Blade and a Soldier Ally. So he gets counters as other allies into the battlefield. And allies just a specific type of uh, creature. And so he gets one already for just himself entering the battlefield. So for now, I have no four mana creatures. So it wouldn't make sense to use this ramp yet. Because I'm still able to play all this stuff, all my three mana stuff next turn anyway without it. So for now I'll play this one, Colonial Tesco. It's a really good creature. It's only two mana for three three. So he's not gonna be able to attack. See what he has next. Akum Battle Singer. Two mana. Haste. One one. But whenever Akum Battle Singer, Battle Singer, or another ally enters the battlefield under control, you may have ally creatures you control get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. So it's a temporary buff for all creatures, for all ally creatures in. So he's going to be doing a lot of heavy attacks, I guess. So, I could trade my creature for one of his if I attacked. If he double blocked, I'd be able to kill one of them. I'm not sure if I want to do that. But then, when he plays another ally, all his creatures get buffed and he'll be able to attack. So, I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Alright, for now, I'm going to play the Staff of the Wild Magus to get some life. And I think I will trade. Yeah, he's not going to block. I'd have been quite happy to kill off his Heart of Free Blade because it's buffing all his creatures. As you can see, another ally has entered the field, a cat ally. And all his stuff gets a buff. No, sorry, not all his stuff, just how to free make gets the buff. So he's going to do 6 damage. So this is where the staff is going to be quite important. I'm taking a lot of damage, I need to heal up. Okay, this is nice. Enchanted creature gets plus three plus three, and if it dies, put a green elephant creature into the battlefield. So again, I'm going to hold back my nature's law, play a land to get the life. And for now, I'll be playing the elephant guide. I want to compete um, with his damage. I want him to start wasting his creatures with blocking. He, at the moment, he does have more damage than me. But I do have life gain. So at some point, he's going to need to start blocking. And none of his creatures are going to be able to stand up to my one, really. At least not yet. So he saved his weakest one back for blocking. Which actually buffs the others temporarily. So 
by killing off this one, he'll be able to do less damage to me per turn. So for now, I can play this land to get another life. Play this sorcery to get another life. And then the sorcery brings out another land for more life. And I can play Sacred Wolf just because I don't see any disadvantage now that lots of creatures out right now. I don't think I will block with it or attack with it. But I'm just going to bring it out anyway. Maybe if he taps all his creatures, I'll attack with it. Yeah, he's going to bring out Dragon Bard, Elf, Rogue, Ally. It's a wonderful creature, but whenever this card or another ally enters the battlefield and you control, you may have ally creatures you control in vigilance, so I'm saying. So that's, that'll be quite good for this situation. To have vigilance. Because that means you'll be able to attack with these creatures, they won't tap. And then you'll have some stuff to block my cards. Yeah, so pretty soon I'm gonna be able to get out this card if I draw land. And then I should win. Okay, no land, but another colonial does win. So right now, the only creature I have strong enough to deal with is Free Blade, is this uh, buffed Colonial Tusker. He's actually going to block with this Stonework Puma. That's kind of fine with me. Looks like he just really wants to do damage. So I could double block and kill it. But I might. I'd rather do the full attack next time. We have another standard creature here. Can't block, but can attack. We can block flying also with it. Uh, he can kill my hexproof sacred wolf here, but next turn he's going to have to find a lot of at least one other blocker. Stonework Puma. If I just keep attacking, I don't think he can keep up with it. Okay, I have a spider here. So. I'm just going to attack with this one. So I have blockers now if you want to attack next turn, because I'm, I'm getting low life as well, four. We have four. He's going to skip his attacking. And now I can play my Garrick Sword. So uh, I shouldn't have any problems now. This card has Vigilance. I mean, he simply doesn't have enough cards to block all of this. So I don't mind if any of my creatures die. So it seems like you can just beat this encounter with lots of creatures. And I've unlocked a prey upon. And in the next episode we'll be playing uh, against Survive the Royal Encounter. So be sure to watch that.